In order to overcome the limitations of contagious allocation, we go for non-contagious allocation. One way of non-contagious allocation is linked allocation. Here, the file may not be allocated with contagious set of disk blocks. The disk blocks which are allocated to the file may be scattered somewhere on the disk. And the directory contains a pointer to the first block of the file. Here the first file block of the file tr is located in the disk block number 12 and the second file block is located in the disk block 14 and the last file block is located in the disk block number 7. Thus the directory entry contains a pointer to the first block of the file. From there on each block contains a pointer to the next block of the file. And the last pointer, last block will contain a null pointer indicating the end of the file. And the directory entry can optionally contain a pointer to the end of the file also. Now what are the advantages of this method? Here there is no chance for external fragmentation. As long as there is enough space in the disk, any free disk block at any location can be used to hold the file block. Suppose we have a new file request which requires 4 physical blocks for its storage. Even though there are no contagious set of 4 physical blocks, we will be able to keep this file on the disk. And since there is no external fragmentation, there is no need of compaction too. The next advantage is regarding the size of the file. Even if the size of the file is not known at the time of file creation, it isn't an issue since we do not need contagious set of blocks. Also, as long as free blocks are available, the file can continue to grow on. Now what are the limitations of this method? Here, the direct access of any block within the file is difficult. For even a direct access of a block, we should get the first block address from the directory then move to that block, get the pointer for the next block, move to that block and continue all the pointers till we can access our required block. Hence this method is suitable for sequential access. Another limitation is the space required for the pointers. In each block, a portion has to be reserved for the pointers. Thus, a major portion of the disk space has to be used for the pointer rather than for information. So, in the next video, we shall see how to overcome the limitations of linked allocation method using file allocation table.